Today, we're going to talk about the three key areas of business being affected by the coronavirus and what this has to do with your app. Okay, so there are three key areas that make up any type of business, no matter what it is. We have marketing, sales, and fulfillment. And this kind of makes up a business from start to finish or from the front end to the back end. So with marketing, this is where a business brings in their leads or their prospective customers. And with sales, this is where they convert those leads or customers into paying customers. And with fulfillment, this is where the business fulfills or delivers on the services or products or whatever it is that their customers bought. So you can see how these three areas, marketing, sales, and fulfillment, make up the core components of any type of business, no matter what it is. So today we're going to talk about how those components are being affected by the coronavirus and what the heck this has to do with your app. If you're new around here, my name is Kristen, and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps. We help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to help start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. So let's dive in. So, you know, no business can truly scale unless they have those three components of their business um, honed in on or fleshed out so to speak. So they have to have their marketing in place, they have to have their sales working, and they have to have their fulfillment working in order to grow. Now, once they do have those in place, they can continue to grow, but they might find themselves capping out or maxing out unless they add either more hours to their workday. So they essentially just continue working more and more and more in order to bring in more leads, you know, close more sales or fulfill more, or unless they just indefinitely keep adding more team members. So this is the way we see a lot of businesses quote unquote growing is they figure out how to get their marketing work working. They figure out how to get their sales working. They figure out how to fulfill on those sales well, but then in order to continue growing, they either have to add in more hours or they have to add on more team members, and this will happen indefinitely, okay? And in reality, it's, you know, while that is growth, it's not actually scale. Growth and scale are, are a little bit different. So growth is when, you know, you are growing your business. Maybe you are making a larger revenue, but scale is where you take those three components of a business and instead of just adding more time to each one or adding more team members to each one, you start to automate the processes within each of those areas. So you start to automate processes within marketing, automate processes or systems within sales, automate your fulfillment. And that is when you can truly start to scale because you don't have to just add in more time, add in more hours to your day, add on more team members within the business itself in order to continue growing your leads, continue improving or increasing your sales, continue fulfilling uh, to, for a higher capacity, right? That's truly scaling when you can start automating and adding systems to those three areas of a business. So systems are really, really important when a business wants to scale. Now, let's take this back to apps, okay? In reality, systems is just another word for apps. Systems are apps, right? They can be apps. And this is where you come in, okay? So if you're building an app that solves some sort of business uh, problem, it's a solution for businesses. Your app is essentially a system and systems are critical to enable and allow businesses to truly scale, right? Not just grow, but scale. So that's where you come in. So let's talk about some examples of these. So you can kind of figure out, um, you know, where your, where your app might fall within these business components and within these systems. Okay. So Let's talk about some examples of marketing systems or apps. 
Okay, we have um, apps for content generation, right? Maybe organic marketing, um, blog posts, or, or maybe social media, things like that. We have systems around ads, marketing with ads, so generating ads, distributing ads, things like that. Uh, there are systems for webinars. Webinars are, are a huge part of a lot of advertising that businesses do, and there are systems around creating webinars, bringing people into webinars, um, and, and hosting or holding webinars. There are tons of apps, and remember, every time I say systems, I'm talking about apps. There are apps for all of these things. There are apps for email automation, right? Email marketing apps or email marketing platforms. There are apps for social proof, generating social proof. So uh, reviews or testimonials, people talking about businesses. Um, there are apps for distributing or gathering social proof. Um, all of these things, right? All of these systems or apps exist to improve a business's marketing and make it more scalable so that their marketing can uh, run like a well-oiled machine and truly be scalable without having to add more hours or just more team members. These are all systems being put into place. Now, what about sales? What are some examples of systems or apps that have to do with sales within a business? Well, we have um, appointment booking apps. That's huge for sales, right? Uh, booking sales calls or booking discovery calls, strategy calls, things like that. That's huge in, in any type of businesses that's, that are selling a service or maybe a higher price product, for example. Um, even automated reminders. So this goes back to email marketing, but more so for the sales focused components of a business. So reminding people to show up for a call or a consultation, or even reminding them to take an action after that consultation has happened. We have full blown sales funnels. There are entire platforms um, focus just on creating entire sales funnels from start to finish. So taking someone who is a lead or who is a prospective customer and actually taking them through the process and transforming them into a customer so that a business can then fulfill for them or serve them. We have dashboards for metrics or analytics tracking for sales. And, and really this is, this could go, uh, towards marketing and fulfillment too. There are always going to be needs for dashboards and analytics tracking for any type of a business and automating that is, is massive. Um, there are systems or apps around communication. I mean, you can see this could go on and on and on, but there are so many ways to systematize a sales process and, and so much of that involves apps. Okay, now what about fulfillment? Okay, this could involve um, automating the process of building a team or hiring job platforms for a specific industry or niche. That's a massive um, system that can be put in place that can have a widespread effect on an entire industry. Um, there can be systems around shipping or scheduling services to happen after that sales conversion has happened, uh, product creation, and more. We could keep going on and on and on, but chances are, if you're building an app for business use, you can start to kind of put yourself into one of these key components of a business and see where your app or your system would help a business truly start to scale. So these are all examples of systems or apps that can help businesses actually scale. Now, to be clear, this was already the case before the coronavirus, uh, before all of the challenges that stemmed from the coronavirus. This was always the case, right? Um, none of this has changed. Businesses still need to scale, and those are the areas that have to be focused on, and those are the areas where systems have to be implemented, or apps have to be implemented. But this is where uh, our current situation sort of comes into play. So what's happening right now is a lot of businesses are realizing that while maybe they had experienced growth up to this point, they, they actually didn't have a lot of systems in place. Okay. Now what's been happening and, and you've, seen this happening, you, you might have experienced this, you've at least read about it uh, or seen it in the news, basically um, 
if employees aren't able to be present within a business, a lot of, a lot of businesses are, are uh, having to close down, right? And that's a very clear sign that those businesses did not have systems in place. They may have experienced really great growth up to that point, but it was reliant on bodies and time. It was reliant on either spending more time or hiring more employees. Okay, so once those were gone, so businesses who, you know, employees aren't able to go in or whatever it may be, a lot of them, and of course, this isn't always the case. Um, there are obviously different industries, different markets, lots of different situations, right? But we're talking about uh, businesses in, in terms of scale and systems, right? So a lot of them are finding out that without those employees in place, there's nowhere for them to go, okay? They never had any systems to help them, to automate them, to make it so that they could continue scaling without just adding more hours or team. Okay, so the, the, the businesses right now who are fighting though, now some of them, obviously many of them have already closed, but some of them are really fighting to uh, stay alive right now. They're really, um, they're being very adaptive, very agile. They're trying to make quick changes to um, kind of stay afloat right now and hopefully change a lot of them are really changing their models and their their whole entire process is moving forward. But those businesses, many of them right now are focusing on systems or apps because the coronavirus and all the shutdowns have sort of forced these ideas and, and forced them to take these measures because it made them realize, you know, the way I was operating before, maybe wasn't as sustainable as I thought it was. Now, no one could have predicted the coronavirus and all of the effects that have happened from that. No one could have predicted that so many businesses would have to shut down. But because it happened, now tons and tons of business owners are being forced to make some decisions and say, okay, you know, uh, if I want to continue now and, and continue forward and not only continue moving forward, but actually scale, knowing that something like this can happen and has happened and knowing that our normal moving forward is going to be very different. The, the flip is not just, the switch is not just going to be flipped. We're not just going to go back to the way things were. Well, these business owners are looking to apps and looking to systematize their processes, their marketing, their sales, and their fulfillment so that they can be more, um, more resilient when things like this happen and so that they can actually scale coronavirus recession or not, right? So this, um, you know, apps right now and, and these systems are helping a lot of businesses still operate, even though many of those same businesses are being forced to lay off employees uh, or are just being forced to operate in a more lean way. So lots of these businesses, they're still moving forward or they're still maintaining right now in an effort to move forward later, even if it means operating in a more lean way. And a lot of them are adopting systems in order to do that. Now, many of them, and you might've experienced this in different areas of your life, many of them just didn't know that they could do these things before. They didn't know they could systematize these parts of their businesses because they never had a reason to explore these areas. Now, this has happened to me in my personal life uh, and in my business life a lot over the past couple of months. I have, you know, things, things are changing. Our day-to-day our, our -day lives are very different and to still maintain some sense of normalcy or forward moving momentum, I've turned to different apps to provide me with, um, you know, just day to day and, and day, day to day personal life and business life things that I can no longer get in a way that used to be normal. I've turned to apps to do those things, but it, I've sort of realized in doing that, that using apps is kind of just easier in general for a lot of those things right? Even something as simple as just going to the grocery store. Um, you know, to be honest, I had never done a, a grocery pickup before just because it had never really occurred to me to do that. Well, 
you know, some of you might have experienced the same thing. Maybe you tried it and realized, oh, well, actually, <laughs> this is really easy. This is really convenient. Um, I did that with a, a coffee subscription. I, I started a, an online uh, a coffee subscription app, and I realized it was a heck of a lot easier than going and buying my coffee. And it was, uh, it was more convenient. The coffee was actually better. You know, it's little things like that. And, and a lot of big things are happening for businesses too, where they're realizing, well, these apps actually just make our lives and our businesses easier anyways, but they didn't realize that was the case before, right? None of, none of this, um, none of these concepts around systems or scaling these components of a business are new. None of it, but so many businesses are being forced to adopt systems and adopt apps. And so many are being forced to realize that they're actually more helpful than the old way of doing things anyways, that this is really the future of business, automating and systematizing and operating in a more lean way. And apps are the solution to that. Apps are what enable businesses to do that and to truly, truly scale. And, and business owners' eyes are being opened to that more now than ever before. So, you know, a lot of the biggest businesses right now were born out of previous recessions. You've probably heard that before. And what I predict is going to happen now because of the very, because of the uniqueness of the situation we find ourselves in now with the coronavirus. Um, what I predict is, you know, not only will businesses be born out of this because problems are being uncovered by the coronavirus, by this recession, and there will be businesses to solve those problems, problems that maybe just didn't really exist before those businesses will be born right now. But what I predict is existing businesses that might have experienced previous growth, but not true scale. We're going to see a lot of those existing businesses skyrocket after this because they're being forced to systematize their operations, those three key components of their business, to automate things, to operate in a more lean way, and to actually experience scale versus growth. That's what I predict seeing as well. New businesses will come onto the scene, but a lot of existing businesses, the ones who are really fighting, who are really being adaptive and agile and, and adopting these new ways of operating, they're going to skyrocket moving forward from this. And, you know, the, the question for you really is, will your app be one of those systems that allows businesses to truly start to scale? And that might be your own business too. You might be building your app for internal purposes, but that's the question I want to leave you with today will your app serve as one of the systems that is going to allow businesses, maybe your own, to truly, truly scale, not just experience growth, but truly scale. All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope that gives you a new way of thinking about this and moving forward and really providing a needed solution for scale right now and moving forward. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.